G'day there inside as here we are out and about, about again in Bangkok with my mate Tom uh, waiting for Cody to get up the uh, stairway down here from the MRT station uh, we're uh, doing a bit of a run around today uh, so we're going to talk about uh, long stay visas yep. for people under 40 that's a good topic long stay visas for people under 40 yeah under okay. 40 yeah um, Cody being under 40, right, he's had a few challenges of how to live in Thailand, you know, retired, and he's not a retirement age for retirement visa. So let's talk to him and we're going to be doing some wandering around, looking at some other options for condos. Uh, we're going to try to cram this all into 15 to 20 minutes. It's going to be a bit of a tight video. <laughs> so here's one of the lucky guys that uh, managed to get out of America before the age of 40. <laughs> <laughs> never wants to go back but uh, yes yeah, so, but uh, yeah so here we are we're at uh, Samyang which is the place that uh, you thought was be an option for yeah, a new condo it, well it's near Chulalong Foreign University uh, it's I don't know it's kind of near the older part of Bangkok so if you go that way which you guys don't know which way that way is but that way is towards like Grand Palace, where we live, <laughs> uh, Chinatown. Actually, Chinatown area is kind of that way. Yeah. That's west, by the way. Yes. Yes. Uh, so there, it's it's kind of an interesting area because it's close to all of that. Uh, Silom is one station that way. Mm. Uh, so if you just get on the MRT, you're at the Sok Silom. Uh, my house. Yeah, so it's in, in other words, it's very central. Yeah. yeah. It's central south of Bangkok. No. So it's not quite, a, quite a crossroads, but it's still, you know, it's still an interesting area, or at least from Google Maps it looked interesting. Yeah. Anyway. So I'm just trying to get, kind of walk around the area before I decide where I want to change my condo to. Yeah, so you're already here, you've been here a year already. And, and you came out on a um, on a uh, education visa. So, not exactly. <laughs> so not exactly. first of all, came out <laughs> on a TR visa, which is 60 days, and then you can extend it for 30. Uh, but you have to get that in your country. Well, that was for me as a US citizen. Right. So I got that before I left the US and did that during COVID, so there was all of the COVID stuff that I had to deal with too. So it was before the Thailand pass, it was the COE, Certificate of Entry, that I had to deal with with that. Right. Uh, so did that, and then as I was getting out of my two weeks of quarantine, uh, Bangkok announced that they were gonna go under lockdown, which means basically no eating food in restaurants and I had already done two weeks of ordering food to my hotel, or two weeks of getting ho food from the hotel delivered to me, and I was sick of lukewarm food, and I didn't want, you know, <laughs> several months more of lukewarm food. So I decided, ah, I'll go to Hua Hin Cha Am area. So yeah. I was there for three months, and then after three months, I was doing like COVID extensions, and I did want to learn Thai, so I decided to, actually, at his recommendation, <laughs> uh, he recommended Duke Language School in Bangkok. So wound up uh, going to Duke, switching to an education visa, and doing that for nine months. Uh, so the, the visa is actually good for a year. Technically, you only have to do seven months of classes but I wanted to do the full so I did all of the classes there so I either need to switch schools switch language schools or switch what I'm doing so I think what I'm gonna do now actually right now I'm applying for an elite visa uh, just because that keeps my options completely open and I'm not tied to a visa for whatever I'm doing yeah yeah so that's what we're going to talk about that's basically the whole idea the options yeah yeah so that's one of the options uh, that came up for him was the education uh, what's that domain? Uh, 
<laughs> he's probably going, Ned and I, <laughs> he probably speaks to better time than me. He's only been doing it for oh, know, seven or eight months. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine, nine. Nine months. Nine but courses, which uh, there are about a month of these. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so he's had nine months of uh, five days a week at school and uh, three hours a day. Apart from the American accent, I think Thais are starting to understand it. You know, it's like me trying to speak Thai and Australian accent. Same thing, I give up. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go like that's another nest, is it? Another nest from the same mob, is it, that we went to for the party? I'll have to ask, because we're meant to be catching up with Chris later today to go to the nest. Yeah, OK, well, it's obviously not this nest, but uh, that's probably just the uh, advertisement, I'm guessing. Uh, Looks like a condo. Yeah, but anyway, so we are in this... I don't know, what is the name of this street here? Uh, was it uh, Soy... Soy... Chidad... Tawan... Tawin? So here we are. This street is actually, what, uh, two or three cross streets down from um, Ceylon. Um, so if you don't know the area, Samyan is one MRT stop away from Ceylon. We've talked about Ceylon before in other videos. Um, but yeah, so it's fairly close. It's like near the central CBD, but very much walking down this street here. Uh, a bit of a, an eclectic look, of very old and new, sort of, it's, uh, it is old, it's the old part of Thailand. Yeah, it really has the same look as, like, uh, you know, Talat Noi area, yeah. by the river over there. It's got a similar feel to that, or, like, kind of the area near Khao San. Yeah. Uh, similar, similar style. Yeah, but so... It looks like there's some new developments going up here, so... Looks yeah, like there's this... a few places that I could check out, or yes. in the future check out. There's some renovation going on some of those other places up there uh, and they're all putting pools on the top of the roof you know where the money comes from I don't know <laughs> the country's That's been broke for two years. You want to swim with a view. Oh, is that I don't what understand is? having the pool. It's probably cheaper to have the pool on the bottom. I'm pretty floor. sure and then if it leaks you don't get rained on yeah. Oh, there's another place what? that looks cool. I wonder if that's an office or if that's an actual place. Yeah. Trying to pick condos from office places is a bit hard, considering this is the CBD. So uh, that's the insurance public company. Oh yeah, Supala. That's another one of the condos up there. And then of course you get these little alleyways. <laughs> I love the way the the tuk tuks are parked there. Aren't they? Oh, actually they're probably repairing them. That's the workshop. It's a workshop. Oh my god. <laughs> Is Sometimes you see this funny as shit, don't you? You really do. Air conditioning shop? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But yeah, like air conditioning motors, they look like pumps of some description <laughs> in the bottom <laughs> there. <laughs> That's just weird. No, it's, it's <laughs> good. good this, is this, this, this is Thailand. This is Thailand, yeah. <laughs> the things you see. So we're actually walking, um, I think, uh, east now. So walking towards Ceylon. We've got a uh, super lie here. Uh, I can see the Marriott over there in the distance. I think that's office buildings, that one. But yes, that's a fair, it's a fair few options. Finding a place, of course, in Bangkok, you're going to get a lot of these sort of back streets and side streets that service uh, the communities. But yeah, <laughs> they are a job and a half to try to get cars through. Thankfully, Cody doesn't have a car and he wants to stay in the city. Um, but uh, yeah, he's still keeping options open. Uh, place with a pool. All right. I, I'm okay not having a car for a while. I mean, I had a big truck in the U.S. So I'm okay without that. Yeah, you don't need. Well, in in Bangkok, you don't need transport apart from taxis and maybe even a motorcycle taxi every so often. But yeah, this is the back streets of Thailand. Back streets of Bangkok. Always fascinating walk around. So I've just passed a new ordinance, uh, parking motorcycles and riding motorcycles on the footpath is uh, now up to a 5,000 baht fine, but I don't see anybody stopping them parking the footpath. Eh, they did this in 2019, eh, and it's still going on, crazy. Uh, they just put the fines up, nothing's really been done about the enforcement though. They also call Bangkok uh, the Venice of the east because you'll find all these little clongs running through everywhere in the city <laughs> this is a we are at sea level if you know know anything about thailand know anything about bangkok um 
a lot of the yeah, a lot of the sort of clongs you'll see are sort of being gentrified now and look pretty, but yeah, unfortunately they still need ways to get the water out of the place. <laughs> Especially when you see the unevenness <laughs> of the concrete. This is the subsidence we get over the like, 20, 30 years. Just wandering through these little alleyways. I wonder whether it's one of those sort of things you'd want to do at night. <laughs> In the US, no. Not this area is not so bad, but maybe Klong Toy I wouldn't want to be. I'd feel less comfortable. <laughs> but uh, this is Ceylon. For those of people obviously under the age of 40 who might be watching this video, normally the age group's a bit older. But um, yeah, options. What options have you got if you've got the financial wherewithal um, to actually leave the rat race and do your own thing? What's the term? M-T-G-O-W? Men going their own way or something? <laughs> um, <laughs> try, to, try to avoid the anachronism. <laughs> yeah. I don't keep track of that. That reminds me of my acronym. previous life. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, there's options. Um, but yeah, the option that Cody's going to go for now, which has a challenge in itself, is to go for the, um, what do you call it, the elite visa. There are in if you didn't catch that if you've got the mask on. Um, yeah, the um, there are investment options. There are some, you know, what they call smart visa yeah, options also now. There's like an investment visa. I heard from there's a YouTube channel called Nomad Capitalist that was talking about that. Right. Uh, it's like invest two hundred and fifty thousand in Thailand. Oh, there you go. Squirrel. Squirrel. Wombat. <laughs> Anybody feel like uh, breakfast? Lunch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I mean, there, there's more options, but I mean, I, I don't really have enough to feel comfortable to put that much into just something as an investment. Yeah. We're not going to go into the, how much your financial yeah. wherewithal is, you know, that's up to people making those choices. Yep. People need to make their own budgetary requirements. He's done his homework, like I've done mine, like Todd's done his. Um, let's not talk about the budgets. It's all the comforts and the levels of what you can expect in here. Uh, like, I've been, like I've been saying for the last uh, few videos, this is the rainy season. Uh, not much rain in the sky right now, is there? People don't seem to understand that. Wait, wait for three hours. Yeah, three hours from now, it'll be different, yeah. You know, right now, we've... This is the thing. You're going to have to get used to working up a sweat in the morning when you walk around the streets of Bangkok and then you'll get drenched in the afternoon for an hour with the rain. That's one of the things, you know, if you're studying to live in Thailand, that's one of the things you know, or, you know, really. But, uh, which season? Rainy season is the best season. Yeah, no, less just, tourists. We can't ride the motorbike when But we season. can't ride the motorbike. Well, we can. We just right now, but you don't know what's going to happen in three hours. Yeah, but yeah, you just so get wet. We know what's going to happen. Place to stop because there's absolutely no food on. No. The other thing, I, I don't mind riding in the yeah, wet. Yeah, there, there's none of that. So you're definitely not going to be able to stop anywhere no. when it's raining. <laughs> Riding in the wet, I don't care about. It's having all the camera gear out. That's what I worry about. <laughs> but we can ride without cameras. <laughs> yeah, well, my GoPro is waterproof. Yeah, what, uh, what, what Yulampong again? So that's the other side of what we've Um So we've done a full circuit, you might sort of say. So the biggest challenge Cody's got right now with the um, Elite Visa, um, going for the five year, from what we understand, you actually have to be out of the country to get it. Um, he says this, he doesn't think it's quite true, but I yeah. Think it depends on which source you look at, who you ask, the alignment of the planets on the day. Yeah. Uh, Just don't do it when Mars is retrograde or you've got Venus and Venus and Jupiter or something like that. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, ultimately, yeah, the the, the paperwork says. Um, you need to be out of the country or apply for it out of the country, but uh, I, saw, I saw the email that they sent me Says that you can also get an effect here now that is the email that I got sent and That may change In the next you know month or so that it takes them to determine if I'm a good person or not to Yeah, yeah 
to get it. So. But you've been a hero a year already, so you know, there's no there's no criminal record they can chase up, is there? No fingerprints you, so. no fingerprints you've left <laughs> where you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh my god. So we've just looked at the uh, couple of streets down there and what's available down the south side of the uh, Samyan. Now we're gonna pop over the north side, which is a little bit more uh, uh, newer, for want of a better word. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, by the way, that's Rama 4, uh, or Rama, uh, Rama C, Rama 4. It's one of the main roads through east west of Bangkok. I've been wandering around for an hour already, so let's go and get some coffee. There we go, we found some coffee. There was a Starbucks back there with and, and, and many seats, but nobody drinks there. But we'll drink, we'll drink here, it's half the price. So, so what sort of budget are you looking for uh, in your condo area? Uh, around what I'm paying now, 20,000. 20,000 20, or less. Yeah. And from what you've, the research you've done on condos, 20,000 is about the average price uh, for, you know, it's, some, there's no right answer to that question <laughs> because like it depends on what you're looking for if you're looking for a low rise yeah. then like 10,000 or so or mm. even less like it's what you could pay if you're looking for a high rise in the pool then 30,000 40,000 50,000 mm -hmm. depends on your budget it depends on how yeah, many yeah. rooms and stuff yeah yeah uh, so it's a ton of words yeah there, there's no it's like your budget for living in Thailand it's yeah. the same thing it's like there's no right answer yeah, and, so, and and don't don't, don't work up the, all right. always always check them out or don't just read the blurb you got to go and see them yeah, as well yeah like honestly i want to check out areas that i'm going to yeah. get an agent and have the agent go okay these are the rooms here because a lot of the listings are old and they're not accurate to what's going on yeah so i'm, I'm going to check out uh after this i'll check out some of the buildings and the agents yeah. and so this is just a bit of a look at the area and um, you know, this is the one area we've got Samyan, and the other area is Brahman Yeah, uh, Brahman and then uh, Point Hong. Yeah, but we're not going to do all those today. This is just part of the feel felt found and talk about retirement. So we came out of the MRT, just went down this way past the what there, down that loop. Now we're heading around this way here. Uh, Chinatown's this way along Rama 4, if you go down this way, a couple of stations. Yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, Huyang Pong. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So next station, Huyang Pong, and then there's Chinatown around that area. So yeah, give you a bit of an idea. I think we're going to go on and wander around here. The stark contrast of building styles always weirds me out. You get this sort of style of building here, and just one street, and it's just high. <laughs> crazy stuff. Doesn't matter where you are in Bangkok, there's always eateries. There we go, she's probably making some, uh, well he's making some pork mince, something or other. It is sort of getting up at 12 o'clock lunchtime. To give you an idea what it is like, it's just a casual every day. Funky girl, what's funky girl? Oh, funky grill. I, I read that it's girl first. <laughs> funky grill, cool. <laughs> Come and check that out one day. It looks funky. Here you go, Todd. Tokyo sweets. You want to go and try that out? Give you a taste of Japan that you're missing? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm, I'm liking Thailand more and more. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. I guess too cold in Japan. Oh, just on that sort of side note there, yeah, Todd spent a couple of years in Japan, okay? So, yeah, <laughs> comparisons. Whether you could actually get a place to stay in here or whether you want to stay in a place around here, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some Airbnbs around this area, but uh, you have to do your research. Going to make our way back now. Of course, Todd's got his lessons at 1. Yeah, so we'll be we'll be meeting back up around about 3 34 o'clock yes yes something like that yeah okay well we'll, we'll wander down to the station then we'll head off from there yep cool cool of course you could also do the whole uh, do the whole bangkok street view pick a location walk around on the street view probably save a bit of time doing an air conditioning but i think 
you don't get the sounds, you don't get the smells, you don't get the whole ambience of the place. Uh, if you really want to do the research, you need to be on the ground doing it. And that's what we do here in the Bangkok Insider. We're always helping people out. So there you go. Anyway, I was just looking at the timer on the camera here. We've got 20 minutes of footage already, so um, better wrap it up here. I know people don't really like the 30 minute long videos. It's only when we can, but maybe we'll just do this again when we do the next area. So we've got a, two or three more areas to do. But yeah, this is also like, this is a top view. We are also working on our, my new series, which is Lost in Bangkok, which is looking at specific locations around there to help you build up a familiar grab, uh, a familiar map of the city of Bangkok and what's available where via the uh, MRT and BTS routes, uh, which is usually the best way to get around the city. So uh, look, uh, hit me up about that as well. And we'll just, you know, they are member only videos or members of Patreons, but uh, the series will eventually go live once it's finished. And we haven't even started yet. Got the other cameras here, got all the cameras here. We actually start shooting today. So there you go. Anyway, peace out, we're out of here. Next time. I, I want you to lift me up so